What's up everybody? Today I got my first guest video. Uh, it's a buddy who is just getting going on YouTube and I figured what better way to showcase him getting the wheels turning than just go ahead and put him on my channel. I don't have the biggest channel in the world but you guys know I love growing the sport and the more people doing this the more ideas and the more different views and opinions from different uh, people, different sides of the uh, arguments will only help us grow. Uh, you know. Some people might agree with what I say, some people might not agree with what I say, some people might agree with him, some people might agree with somebody else. You know, the more people we get talking about disc golf, the more somebody somewhere is going to watch somebody's video and that light bulb is going to turn on and poof, they're hooked, they got the idea, the, whatever is said, they understand and uh, so that's the goal with this video. So uh, his name's Philip Tate, like I said, he just got started and uh, I have a little tip for you from him. Let's watch the video and I'll be back afterwards to talk about a little something. something. All right, what's up everybody? You're back here with Philip Tate. Uh, today I'm gonna share with you a point on um, how to survive a bad round. People always ask me, they're like, Tate, how do you always survive your bad rounds? We know we see you have them a lot, so how do you do it? You know, I simply tell them, it's really easy. All you gotta do is just remember to have fun. If you uh, throw a bad shot, getting mad about it, all it's gonna do is make it worse. The worst thing you could possibly do is get angry, throw something, cause the rest of your car to get, you know, a little frustrated with you. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna put that kind of juju on your card. All it's gonna do is create your car mates to find things to, um, to come at you with. They'll call you on courtesy violations. Um, so keeping your cool is very important on the card. Um, next, uh, when you throw a bad shot, just think, okay, what can I do to make this next shot work? Don't try to rush it. Don't get frustrated with it. All you gotta do is step up to your shot, trust that you know how to do it, and just do it. And if it doesn't work, then then it's too late. At that point, there's nothing you can do. The only thing you can do is go to your next shot and try to make it better. So I uh, hope that this little tip helped you today. I hope that next time you go out to the course and something bad happens, you're able to walk away from it and not get mad or frustrated at all. Um, so thank you all for listening. I'll see you all next time. Great sound advice and it's so important to keep your head on straight and just take it one shot at a time, man. He hit it right on the head. I mean, if you can go through the whole tournament smiling no matter what happens, your car is going to have fun, you're going to have fun, and you're going to shoot a hell of a lot better than you ever would getting all angry and upsetting other people. You know, we're all about having fun. Yes, it's a competitive environment, but if you're not having fun, why are you doing it? You know, why are you doing it? So. Um, also on his channel, what was funny, is this happened. What I did was I took everybody's name and I put them into a piece of paper and then I put them into the little bag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this old school way. Shake it out. I'm going to pick a winner. Alright. I'm going to pick a name out. Tonight's winner is... Oh, what does that say? Wreck Rob. That, that, that never happens to me. Usually, you know, I like being on the other side of it. You know, I, I love giving you guys stuff and seeing your guys' reaction. And it happened to me, and I was like, we could do something with that. So what we're going to do, guys, is uh, real simple, is we're going to redo the giveaway. Now, I'm going to take that prize you just though, because it looks really freaking cool. And uh, <laughs> we're going to send you guys back towards his channel. If you guys, he's got a video up. It's going to be like giveaway part two or hello rec rob people or something. I don't know exactly what the title is, <laughs> but it's going to have somewhere in there giveaway part two. You guys go check out that video. And those of you that go over there and subscribe to his channel and say and leave in the comment section, rec rob sent me, 
you, we automatically entered into that giveaway. Uh, we just we wanted to do something together, and you know he's getting real close to those lower milestones. You know, like I was 100, 200 subscribers. Let's get him there. Let's let's, let's at least get him some. Let's get him some people over there and uh, get his channel growing. And uh, if you guys like this kind of video, if you like these guest posts, smash that thumbs up button. It lets me know. That's how I do my videos. If you see a series start and stop and you just kind of go where to go, it's based on your guys' participation. If you guys are active in the comments and are active on that like button, then I'm going to produce more and more videos of that, that particular series. If you're not, I'm going to say, well, that was a bad idea and I'm going to scrub it. So, yeah, guys, check him out. He's pretty awesome, pretty laid back. And, uh, yeah, guys, as always... Until next time, take it easy.